The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. Hi, this is Mia Mohsen Zia, also known as Mia No Time for Love. Check out my latest book, Missing, available in print and e-book format on Amazon. It's now time for the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios and sponsored by international award-winning author Mia Mohsen Zia of Missing. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on over 40 podcast platforms, as well as HamiltonRadio.net, Diamonds FM, and the TheMikeWagnerShow.com. We can be heard in over 100 countries, featuring over 1,000 well-known and amazing guests throughout the globe, and named one of the top 100 global podcasts in the New York Weekly Times, Hollywood Entertainment News, Los Angeles Weekly Times, Apple, and Chartable. So sit back and relax and enjoy another great episode of the award-winning Mike Wagner Show. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition way. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention Mike Wagner Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, time to give official shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, international warring author, Mia molson if you love fast-paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing is fast-paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries, two strangers, one target, where truth is illusion and those you love will be the first go missing. It's available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia Molson Zia has garnered great reviews and Eve Love and Joyce by Howard celebrities, including Joanna Cassidy, Forge Riley, m and So grab your copy today for Girls Missing by Mia Molson Zia. Available on Amazon. Also, check out the Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com on over 40 podcast platforms heard in over 100 countries, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also, Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, and also coming soon to HamiltonRadio.net, Diamonds FM, Oldies Radio, and a few networks coming soon. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. And for great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com and check out the Mike Widener Show podcast. T-shirts, pop sockets, throw pillows, tote bags, hoodies, baseball gear. Makes great gifts 24-7. Go to Amazon.com and check out the Mike Widener Show podcast. And for more great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com slash Mia Molson Zia for great books like Missing, Ones, Wrinkles, Victim of Shame. Also cool merchandise like T-shirts, pop sockets, hoodies, throw pillows, phone cases, and more. Amazon.com slash Mia Molson Zia. Check it out today. I'll support the Mike Wagner Show on Anchor FM, PayPal, the Mike Wagner Show.com. And you can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com at the Mike Wagner Show. Make sure you do so today. We're here with a terrific gentleman who is an actor, producer, writer, and award-winning from Des Moines, Iowa, and the founder of Shrinking Tree Productions. And his new release, Two Blurs, will be on the uh, Dances with Films 25th anniversary. And so, so if you think if you're a big money Python fan, you're gonna love Two Blurs. And he's experienced with a full front with a uh, Samantha B, PBS American Portrait. 1 million XP. And of course, this new release um, is fast paced comedy, which two grown men become mortal enemies because <laughs> because one wanted to uh, put a hat on a dog. And uh, one of the episodes um, revolves around once famous YouTubers um, struggling to come up with new ideas because their numbers are down. I mean, don't we all experience that? If you're having problems, you got to check this out. And of course, um, the company that he founded was originally a web design and uh, developing company just evolved into something better. And live, ladies and gentlemen, from uh, Plus Studios outside of uh, beautiful downtown Los Angeles, the amazing war-winning actor, producer, writer, founding Shrinking Tree Productions, ladies and gentlemen, the man behind two lords. Justin Norman. Justin, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us today. Hey, thanks for having me. What's great to have aboard as well, too, is your award-winning actor, producer, writer from Des Moines, your founder of Shrinking Tree Productions. Your new release, Two Boards, uh, is a fast-paced comedy which two grown men become mortal enemies because one wanted to uh, put a hat on a dog. And uh, your, one of your episodes <laughs> revolves around once famous YouTubers just trying to save a channel. It doesn't come up with idea after idea after idea and uh, the numbers are shrinking and of course um you also won some awards too that um 
You also won a Greenlight Award, a great Canadian comedy film, and a Best Director Award, and a lot more. And um, you also have um, been experienced with Full Frontal uh, with Samantha B, PBS American Portrait, 1 Million XP, and more. And before getting to all that, Justin, tell us how you first got started. Um, I got started with a competition called the 48 Hour Film um, Project. Uh, I'm not sure if it, your listeners are familiar with that, but the way it basically works is uh, it's an international competition. They have local versions in different states. So I'm from Iowa, so I entered the Des Moines version of it. You, uh, you sign up and on Friday, you draw a genre for your film out of a hat and you are required to uh, have a specific line of dialogue, a specific character, and a prop. And then within 48 hours, you have to write, shoot, direct, and edit a complete film. And they screen them all in the theater. Uh, and uh, after the initial round of screening, there's like a, a final judging of the, the top 12 films. And uh, yeah, it's a ton of fun. You get uh, a lot of audience feedback and you know, you, you get the rare opportunity to see your stuff on a big screen in a theater with people. And so I joined that. Uh, a little over 10 years ago now and just really enjoyed it. All I had at the time was uh, a little uh, uh, flip camera. It was like uh, just a super low res camera that I borrowed from a friend. And uh, I borrowed a, a copy of iMovie that was still on like a, a DVD disc and installed that, and, you know. Oh my just gosh, I remember of- those things. <laughs> <laughs> flip cameras, everything like that. Boy, that's yep. like a back to the future moment. <laughs> I still have the old uh, VHS cameras, like the Super 8 and everything else, like the little ones. It's like, boy, flashback all over again. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, no, you were super limited in terms of technical capabilities. But, you know, you kind of just learn from that experience what it's like to try to write uh, a story. And they, they have to be under seven minutes long. So it teaches you how to, you know, uh, get a get a grasp on the, the short form uh, writing and storytelling. So, yeah, really enjoy it and really encourage other people to uh, give it a shot if there's a, a version in your city. Mm-hmm. We'll certainly do so. And what was it one precise moment that simply influenced you into what you're doing for the rest of your career? Um, I think it was really just watching the audience reaction to that very first uh, 48 hour film in the theater with with an audience. It, it wasn't a very good film, but it. <laughs> laugh and uh i didn't realize that you know that's something i could do and it it was just very nice to uh you know have people laughing at your jokes and uh uh yeah so i thought that'd be uh that'd be a pretty fun thing to keep pursuing with friends and it's turned into something uh a bit bigger so yeah I was, I was going to say, if I had 48 hours, I wouldn't know what to do, to be honest with you. <laughs> this is probably our version of a film right here. So. <laughs> and what was it, one precise? And um, we, we asked that already. So who are some of your favorite uh, actors, actresses, and uh, movies and uh, producers you uh, watched and grew up with? Um, I really like, uh, I mean, it, it's a total cliche, but, you know, like, I mean, a lot of people love Will Ferrell. I love Will Ferrell stuff. I think one of my favorite shows this this uh probably a lesser known thing that he's done called the spoils of babylon which is this um mini series that i think aired on fx originally but it's like a a fake adaptation of a like a a pulpy uh novel that they serialized and it's just i don't know it's just really funny and it's it's written by another um guy from iowa originally uh his name's andrew Steele. so yeah really love that series and um i love Danny McBride is another uh, really funny guy, uh, uh, writer and uh, actor and maybe director who uh, had a show called Eastbound and Down on HBO. And um, and then I watched a lot of Adult Swim stuff, too. I don't know if you're familiar with that, but Space Ghost, Coast to Coast was something that I watched really early on. I think mm, that I remember that. I yeah. Would, and my boys love watching it. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, they just did some super uh, strange stuff that was just wild to watch on, on TV. I remember one time they du- so the show is normally 11 minutes long and they doubled the length of the episode just so they could show Space Ghost uh, crawling after an ant for a solid 11 minutes straight, just humming to himself, no dialogue or anything. He's just, he's just crawling after an ant. So, yeah, yeah, I think I was just really uh, influenced by a lot of that early Adult Swim stuff. Yeah, it sounds rather fascinating. I think I'll go to Adult Swim after we're uh, done with this here. And um, how about some other favorite comedians you enjoyed as well? Too? You talked about Will Ferrell. And uh, how about some of the others that influenced you? Um, I'm trying to <laughs> think right now. My I, my brain's super wiped from uh, from travel, but uh, those would be like those would be the main ones. I think uh, it was really a lot of 
it was really a lot of uh, the adult swim stuff. So like uh, C-Lab 2021, that was another one that I really liked. Uh, there was uh, Aqua Teen Hunger Force, love that stuff. It's, I think my influences are more uh, centered around, you know, like um, comedic filmmakers rather than, you know, like, uh, you know, like stand-up comedians or, or, or things like that. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. And you talked about, um, you know, comedic uh, filmmakers as well, too. Who are some of your favorite um, producers and directors in terms of comedy? Um, I, uh, I, I know one of the directors I, I, I really have enjoyed. Well, I, I, I love the, the Coen brothers. They have like, you know, that, that just very dry humor running through a lot of their, their stuff. And uh, I like uh, some of the. Uh, I, I like uh, this show called Children's Hospital. It's uh, uh, some it, it created by David Wayne, who famously directed the uh, Wet Hot American Summer movie. Uh, so I, I love his way of, uh, of directing actors and kind of having them really commit in a serious way to very, very stupid dialogue. Uh, I like David Gordon Green as a director. He directs a lot of Danny McBride stuff. Uh, he's bounded down by his principles. And, and he does sort of a similar thing. It's they're they're very different shows, but but I, I I like the dramatic weight that they kind of give to very stupid dialogue and very stupid characters. So oh, that's really interesting. I think I'll catch some of that. Uh, we'll talk about some of your uh, experiences with Full Frame with Samantha B, PBS American Portrait, One Million XP, and also um, a bit more about Tube Lords and more and some of your awards. But first, to listen to the Mike Widener Show at the Mike Show.com, powered by Soundweb Studios. Visit online at soundwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention to Mike Widener's show, get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give an official shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, international warring author Mia Molson Zia. If you love fast paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon paperback and ebook. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. Takes place in four countries, two strangers, one target, where truth is illusion and those you love will be the first go missing. It's available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia Molson Zia's garnered great reviews in Evil Love and endorsed by Howard celebrities, including Joanna Cassidy, Ford Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today for Ghost Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon. Also, check out the Mike Widener Show at the themikewidenershow.com on over 40 podcast platforms heard in 100 countries. Take us with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. And for great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com and check out the Mike Widener Show podcast for Great merchandise and more. And for more great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com slash Mia Molson Zia for missing ones, wrinkles, and more. And great merchandise, Amazon.com slash Mia Molson Zia. Also support the Mike Wagner Show on Anchor FM, PayPal, the Mike Wagner Show.com. You can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com at the Mike Wagner Show. Make sure you do so today. We're here with award-winning actor, producer, and writer from Des Moines and founder of Shrinking Tree Productions, Justin Norman, here on the Mike Wagner Show. And um, you had experience with Full Frontal uh, with Samantha B, PBS American Portrait, 1 Million XP, and also um, you had uh, been involved with like The Happiness Machine and more. And, uh, tell us about some of the uh, works you've been on, involved in. Uh, what were they like? Uh, so, sorry, I missed the, uh, the question there. Could you repeat no, that? No, uh, no, I said uh, you had a uh, full front of Samantha B, PBS oh, yeah. American Portrait. You know, we'll talk, talk about some experiences you had before uh, starting out uh, Tube Lords. Oh, sure. Yeah, those are two uh, two really different experiences for PBS American Portrait. So that was this, this incredible documentary series that PBS put together by uh, having these kind of short films that were about just ordinary people in different uh, places around the United States describe really common or like describe their lives, re- really uh, significant moments in their lives. Um, so I I went around and and uh, interviewed and and shot and kind of directed these these very short segments that they were all you know like under a couple of minutes and uh, I got to hear some really powerful stories from people with just like very very different um, backgrounds. So. Uh, that was that was super interesting. It was a just a really neat documentary project, and then they compiled a bunch of those short uh, portraits into these kind of longer episodes uh, that that aired on PBS. So I, I was really happy to get to be a part of that. Uh, and then uh, you know, as far as full uh, frontal with Samantha B went, I 
I got the great opportunity to be a part of an episode that they shot when they came to Iowa and um, they, they were uh, doing this, this uh, time travel sketch at a local diner. And uh, I got to kind of play this, this character who, you know, gets um, just, <laughs> um, get murdered by one of the hosts. So, uh, so I got to do kind of a, a, a very simple stunt and uh, that was, that was a ton of fun. Yeah. It, it sounded like a lot of fun too. And you also won some awards as well too, like with the um, green light grant from the Iowa arts, great Canadian comedy film, best director and everything else. Tell us about some of the awards you won. Oh, sure. Yeah. Um, so they, I, I, I made this short film called uh, enjoy your evening, um, which is kind of, uh, it's, it's like it's it's a film that that's about the the common experience that I think a lot of people have where they you know they get done with a meeting and they they start walking back to their uh, cars with the person they just met with and they you know they say goodbye and then they find out the person's going the same direction as them and it's it's kind of based on the idea of you know what if that just kept going and going and going and uh, so it's kind of this nightmare scenario for this guy who's just interviewed for a job and the interviewer happens to just keep following him at every turn and seems maybe a little bit more interested in him beyond the job position in a sort of creepy way. So I uh, mm -hmm. uh, and screened at some festivals, including a, a wonderful festival called the Great, uh, Great Canadian Comedy Film Festival and uh, managed to win Best Director up there. And that was that was super great. And really loved that experience. Uh, the I was what was the other one you asked about? Oh yeah, the green light grant. Yeah, yeah. Yes. The green light grant. Yeah, that's a that's an uh, an Iowa thing. It's a uh, a great program that they just started a couple of years ago to encourage filmmakers in the state, and that's put on by the Iowa Arts Council and a, a, a organization called Produce Iowa. And uh, I wrote the script for Two Lords with my friend Jake Withers. And I kind of put together this idea that I had put on hold for like a couple of years, wrote this half hour pilot, submitted it and managed to win a, a $50,000 grant to make the pilot, which is now screening this weekend in LA. So amazing as well too. And we'll, we will talk about two lords in just one minute. You listen to the Mike Weiner show at the Mike Weiner show.com powered by Sonic web studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Also brought to you by official sponsor, the Mike Weiner Show, international warring author, Mia Most of Missing, available on Amazon, paperback, and ebook. We'll be back with award-winning producer, writer from Des Moines, Iowa, Justin Norman with Two Lords after this time. Out. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Call one 800 303 three nine six zero or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today mention the mike wagner show and get 20 percent off your project sonic web studios take your image to the next level hey everybody my name is forbes riley and i'm an american actress and a tv host and i was delighted when i got my copy of missing which is extraordinary relation of ordinary people based on a real life relationship it's just it's well written it's amazing you know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter, and it's very well done. I'm going to highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Mian Moshe Zia, he is the author of Missing. And I want to give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamoshenzea.com. Missing, available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. Hey, hey, this is Ray Powers, and boy, are you in luck. Right place, right time. Tuned in to The Mike Wagner Show. You heard me. We're back with actor, producer, writer, and award-winning uh, Justin uh, Norman on The Mike Wagner Show with two boards from Shrinking Tree Productions as part of the Dancing With Films 25th anniversary. And um, if you if you like my, if you like my Python, you're gonna love Tube Lords. And uh, tell us more about this, and we kind of relate to the YouTubers uh, crashing as well, too. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, so Tube Lords is focused on the story of these four YouTubers who are on they run the same channel that used to be really 
famous. And uh, lately they're, they're kind of down on their luck. The numbers are, are going down. They don't have as many subscribers. So they're trying to come up with ideas to kind of latch onto the latest trends and improve their uh, subscriber count. So they decide that pranks are super hot right now and they decide to go uh, pull one on a local 70 year old prank enthusiast named Charles. But they get that video um, sabotaged by their former stuntman, whose name is Jared. And uh, Jared and, and Tim, who is uh, one of the original founders of this channel, uh, had just like a terrible parting of ways because Jared wanted to make videos centered on dogs wearing articles of clothing, which <laughs> not normally wear. And uh, Tim thought that was a stupid idea, so uh, Jared left the channel, started his own, and it's much more popular than than uh, Tim's now. So they're, they're, the pilot centers on their kind of battle against each other. Mm. It, it sounds like uh, the YouTubers these days just having like numbers and everything else. And um, I, I was I was just uh, look, looking at some of that. You also had uh, Laura and Otis and Ronnie, and also one of them as well too. I'm trying to remember. It's like you know he was trying to do the dancing stunt like in tights and everything. It made me think of the guy from uh, what was it, uh, Tiger King. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's Jared that uh, you're you're thinking of. Yeah, yeah, we did it. A coordinated dance sequence, which was super fun, and we did it in the middle of this small town, Iowa town. We just had people driving by the whole time that we were shooting it, and kind of uh, uh, with with very confused expressions on their faces. And uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> it sounds like a lot of fun too. And um, what are some of the episodes and uh, other plots you plan on uh, featuring with uh, Tube Lords? Well, right now we're really focused on on just the pilot because uh, it's it was an expensive thing to make, and you know the future of this show will kind of depend on how well it it performs and whether or not it uh, we're able to get it picked up for more episodes. We we kind of planned out a a um, like a show bible for a full season, but we only know kind of just the the very broad strokes of what that looks like, right? So we don't, we haven't like written out other episodes of it yet. Um, so we're mostly focused on just kind of showcasing this pilot. And we think that the pilot tells enough of a complete story uh, and leaves enough out there that people will probably be satisfied watching it and also want to see where it goes next. Mm -hmm. And where can we find uh, two blarts at and all your works at Tim or Justin? Um, I'd say the, the easiest way to do it is uh, you can, you can go to shrieking and that's, S H R I E K I N G tree.com. And that's, that's my little production company. And that's where we, I've got all of my short films. You can watch enjoy your evening. Uh, the short that I mentioned earlier that won the award in Canada and uh, you can watch the trailer for two boards and presumably at some point we will have the pilot available to watch as well. So if you want to keep up with all the stuff that I'm doing, uh, check out shrieking tree.com. We certainly would do so. We're here with uh, Justin Norman of uh, Two Blood to the Mike Wagner Show. Justin, a couple of things here. What else can we expect me in 2022 and beyond? Um, I just finished up a uh, VR game uh, that I worked on called Area Man Lives. So I want to mention that. That just went to uh, the Cannes Film Festival. Uh, so the Cannes Film Festival actually does VR games, which I didn't know. But uh, that's released on Oculus Quest and... Uh, you can you should check that out if you're you're interested in uh, playing kind of a unique storytelling focused game that centers on uh, the player playing the part of a uh, local DJ in a, in a radio station and uh, solving a mystery. So check that out. And uh, I'm working on uh, another game called In Lukewarm Blood, which is a dark comedy game that's that's kind of an interactive film, uh, sort of like. If you've seen Bandersnatch, which is uh, an episode of Black Mirror on Netflix, um, you'll be able to control what the main character says in, uh, in terms of the, the dialogue lines. And you can kind of have the, the story shoot off in a whole bunch of different crazy directions based on what you pick uh, for him to say. So that's, uh, that's the next big thing that I'm focused on. And I'm doing that with Jake Withers, who co-wrote Two Lords with me. And uh, looking forward to putting together a demo of that and having that publicly available before the end of the year. And we're certainly looking forward as well, too. And when I thought about uh, a DJ at a rail station solving a mystery, it reminded me of a one Scooby-Doo episode where um, the DJ was trying to, um, you know, you know, you know, get him on a clue, but then end up in the end. It's like, I'll Scooby snacks. And I'll continue playing on the air. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so we have all that. And who do you consider biggest influence in your career? Biggest influence in my career? I don't know. Um, that's a good question. I don't think that I can chalk that up to like, one 
uh, one single person. But uh, I would say that a lot of the Adult Swim shows that I grew up with, Space Coast, uh, Aqua Dean Hunger Force, Sea Lab, those were all huge influences in kind of forming my, my sense of humor. So I, I would say just Adult Swim in general. That sounds amazing. I'll check out Space Coast afterwards and after this. And what's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point? Oh, uh, if you if you want to make films, they get out and just start shooting stuff. I, a lot of people that I know take a lot of time um, just kind of kicking around a concept and talking about how they want to make uh, idea X, Y, or Z. Uh, filmmaking equipment is super uh, affordable right now. And I would just suggest that people go out and trial, uh, trial and error their way through filmmaking and kind of learn as they go. We certainly would do so, and we encourage everybody to do that. Once again, we're with actor, producer, writer, award-winning Justin Norman of Two Blords here on the Mike Wagner Show. Justin, a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely right. fantastic. Looking forward to having you again soon. Make sure you keep us up to date. Keep in touch. Glad to have you back. We wish you all the best. Once again, tell us about your upcoming projects. What's your website? How do people contact? Where can people check out Two Blords and all your other works at? Yeah, if you're in the Los Angeles area, check out the Two Blords premiere this Saturday at the TCL Chinese Theater at 2.30 p.m. Uh, we'd love to have you out to the premiere screening. And if you want to check out some of my other short films online, or if you want to see the trailer for Two Lords, go to www.shriekingtree.com. We will certainly do so. Once again, Justin, a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely amazing. Looking forward to having you soon. Make sure you keep us up to date. Keep in touch. We wish you all best. You've got a great future ahead of you. Thanks for having me on, Mike. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention The Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Hey everybody, my name is Forbes Riley and I'm an American actress and a TV host. And I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People based on a real life relationship. It's just, it's well written, it's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter and it's very well done. I'm gonna highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Mian Moshe Zia, he is the author of Missing. And I wanna give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamotionzea.com. Missing, available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening to The Mike Wagner Show. Brought to you by international award-winning author Mia Mosinzia of Missing. And powered by Sonic Web Studios. Be sure to join us again on over 40 podcast platforms. And of course, on the MikeWagnerShow.com, HamiltonRadio.net, and Diamonds FM. Don't forget to support our program with a generous donation at the MikeWagnerShow.com. Thanks for listening. <laughs>